Here's what I heard. That cop caught the guy that did the Dahlia. They covered it up. Some kind of big conspiracy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, he say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! or I will shoot. Why did you run from us, Farley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Farley. Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on you. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then. Your guess is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. You're behind the wheel. Any central unit, meet the officer, a hit run felony at 6th and Alvarado. Any unit able to handle, code 2 identify. Car 11 King responding, go ahead, KGPL. 11 King, meet the officer, a hit and run felony at the intersection of 6th and Alvarado, code 2. Notify the coroner's office. It's not often you get them this easy. The driver left his car behind and hoofed it. Any witnesses? None of them saw the crash, but by the blood, I'd say the driver can't be too far. Did anyone see where the driver went? I saw a guy run up that alley. He's hiding around here somewhere, I know it.
Just stay away from me, goddammit! I mean it! Get back! All right. All right. I think really we got our dance. guy. I only fell asleep for a second. I've never had any trouble like this before, officer. Never, William ever. William Shelton? Oh, Christ. It's you. Look, you gotta believe me. I'm no criminal. You know the way. You can drive. LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads around if he can. You were licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens, you're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case.
I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Remember that dead lady they found under the train? That guy, Phelps is his name, he solved the case. He booked some bar fly for the murder. I don't mind that you're talking, so long as you Save yourself some I time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay, so I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Phaistos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. I think Ryan is a man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. I was door knocking all morning, but I got to make on the car in the end. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan. A pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, 
I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think you played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Clement says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire, Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! <laughs> Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. <laughs> We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. I'm stumped. Ideas? Let's lay a charge at one of these guys and put this to bed. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. <laughs> 